Eastern Area Agency on Aging is making it easier for folks to get their vaccines this fall. With us is Christopher Hill and Danny Street. And Christopher, let's start with you. Uh, this is really the whole thing with Eastern Area Agency on Aging is to try to, you know, make it a one-stop shopping for folks when it comes to taking care of themselves. Absolutely, with it be, uh, being October and fall in the air, um, I think this is where everyone's more susceptible now to things like the flu and COVID. It's just kind of a part of our lifestyle now. So Eastern Area is, is teaming up with other agencies on aging throughout our state, as well as uh, um, the U.S. aging to create kind of this vaccine program uh, and having really vaccine clinics throughout the month. So uh, really just trying to protect not only our older adults, obviously they're more susceptible to illnesses like these, but really adults in general, just trying to, to kind of get these vaccines out to people that really need them. And I'm excited to have Danny on, who's going to talk about our Durgan Center specific, uh, but we obviously have a lot of them throughout the month. And, and Danny, when we are talking about the Durgan Center, you know, it's important for folks that sometimes it's hard for them even to get out of their homes. And so, it, you know, when you're talking about getting important vaccines, um, this is really going to help. Yep. Uh, so on October 18th at the Durgan Center, we'll have a vaccine clinic from 12 to 3 there. Uh, the nice thing is the uh, the bus actually stops right outside the Durgan Center, so even if folks don't have transportation, if they don't have their own car, they can take the bus on over. Um, and then Northern Light Health will be there, so if they bring in their insurance card or even if they don't have insurance, um, no one's turned away. So if they want to come down between 12 and 3, we ask them to pre-register just so we have an idea as to how many folks need to be vaccinated. Um, but if they can't, walk-ins are accepted uh, and welcomed as well. So, And we should mention, I know you mentioned this just quickly earlier, this is both the flu and the COVID vaccine, the most up-to-date. COVID vaccine yep. that we're talking about. Okay. And if they haven't had their COVID vaccine ever, they, that's part of it as well. So, yep. all right. And I know we've got a list as well, Chris. So let's kind of, you know, I know there's quite a few of them yeah, that are sure. coming up besides the Durgan Center. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, uh, we'll be in Sullivan on October 9th and then Deer Isle on October 10th, uh, the Old Town in October 23rd, 28th in Miller on the square here in Bangor, and then on the, tw on the uh, November 2nd, Blue Hill YMCA. Uh, so, quite, we're really trying to, to utilize our service territory and get out to the people that need it the most. Uh, for people that, uh, you know, as far as registering is concerned, mm -hmm. that can all be found on agewisemain.org. Um, it's a, a really uh, uh, cool website that's got, you can uh, access the schedule and pick the, the date that, that fits you the best, register right there. As always, for people that might be technologically averse or someone that doesn't like the computer, doesn't have an email, you can always give us a call at 941-2865 uh, and our resource specialists will help get the information that you need. So we don't want to, we don't want to, we want to make sure everyone has the ability to sign up if they need to. So. And Danny, what's nice is that you said no one's ever turned away. Correct. Yeah, yep. excellent. All right, and if anyone missed those dates, we're going to have those on our website as well. Again, both for both the flu and the COVID vaccine. Absolutely, that way. yeah. So, excellent. All right, thank you to both for coming.